We are in full flow and ready to go. Cross clamp. Wow, that is most communication I've seen between the two of you today. Silence is golden, apparently. You know she was freaked out by the prognosis. Oh, and yet she was so keen to go onto the knife before for her cabbage. There's no pleasing some people. And she asked me to call her ex-husband in case something goes wrong. Why do people always do that? The need to be loved, the desperate yearning to be validated as a human being. Cannula's out. Right, pump stop. All right, we have less than a few minutes. 100% oxygen, please ventilate. The there, line. a purse string suture has cut through. Hold it, keep it steady, please. Okay, take the clamp off. Done. Let's start the bypass again. Okay. All right, two of the proline. You can tie the snare when I'm done. Well done. Good team effort. Oh, that's freaking you out. That was the school. Emma slapped another pupil. It's not her first offence. They're sending her home. What do I do now? Go! Well, that's a great idea. And what about my list? Well, manage. Don't you have a nanny? It's her day off. She's with Jamie. I say in the interview, no boyfriends. So all she can do is pick her up and drop her off here. And Sasha's too busy covering Hanson. Who do we know? Who is always so good in crisis. Strong, dependable, nice teeth. Stop talking riddles. Mm hmm. Obs and Gaini. Looking for someone? Yeah, I've been reliably informed by uh, Jason Haynes that you've got a Haley Keenan on this ward. So formal. Is she in trouble? <laughs> uh, sorry, no, I, I'm, I'm her husband. Well, ex-husband. Ah. So she did call you, huh? Well, Mr. Keenan, follow me. Uh, 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 that's a maiden name. I see. Well, you obviously have a lot to talk about. Well, what did she say? Is she going to be okay? Ah, the bleeping gadgets are just precautionary. There is no reason why she wouldn't make a full recovery. Laura, where's Emma? Frida, where's Emma? She's released most of the hostages. Try your office. No offence, but how do you cope? I mean, talk about diva behaviour. She's just thrown a whole box of paper clips in me head. Didn't take you for a grass. I never had me down as a wimp either, but that kid's nearly killed me. Blimey, that was quick. You just have to be firm. Demanding, infuriating, totally uncooperative. Or does she get it from me? You've been waiting to say that all day, haven't you? Weeks. Months. You were right. There is something between us. If I was going to be with someone, I'd want it to be you. But I can't, because I know I'll mess it up. I can't be the mother to your children or the partner that you deserve. You're not even willing to try. I'll find a way to screw it up. And I'm not willing to risk all that we have for the cause. That's assuming you still want to be my friend. In a parallel universe, we are absolutely rocking what we have. Just not this one. 
You know it as well as I do. If the kids got close and then this all went pear-shaped. You're doing it again. Doing what? By pushing me away, you're actually putting me first. Head full in your heart. My head tells me I don't need anyone. But my heart... Can it wait? Not really. I have an eager beaver on my hands. May I introduce? Jacula. Ah! Already for trick-or-treating, may I say. <laughs> don't do that, you're gonna give me a heart attack. Oh, you're so scary, just like mummy. Let's go get some treats. Let's go get some treats, treats. 